Hello, uh, welcome to Gunnar Weisskamp's uh, web development. Uh, so, lesson 14, we're at Angular Custom Filters. So, in this lesson, uh, we, will, we will learn about custom filters. <clears throat> uh, so, in Angular, you can build these filters which can enable you to give your app incredible hidden features. <clears throat> custom filters, um, the more you learn, the more you'll know about them and the hidden potential that it can give to your app is pretty cool because it will just whatever you can it's, it depends on how you think and want to put your logic together but <clears throat> custom filters can give you great flexibility to, flexibility flexibility to your app so if you want to create today's app um, using Visual Studio 2013, <coughs> I've got here new. I did a new project, and then here in B we did web, and we select this ASP.NET web app application as we can see here, and then we've got to C. The C window should pop up for you, and then in the template area, make sure you just got an empty uh, website, no MVC, no web forms, no nothing, <coughs> and then you should have the same interface that I have or just about. So, let's bring up. <clears throat> so here's our interface. As you can see, there's only a scripts folder that you've got to add and a HTML page that you have to add. Here in the scripts folder you can see that I've already added it in Angular <clears throat> and this is my scripts folder which is here also in Angular uh, in my solution. So those are the components you've got to also add in a scripts folder, Angular, and your own JavaScript file here, <coughs> and the HTML page. <coughs> so, well, we've got an empty Angular file here, we've just declared our module, and over here in our HTML page we've declared our ng app, our my app, our controller, that's all there ready to go, and we've included our two scripts, our Angular min and our script. So those uh, mechanics are ready to go. <coughs> so let's grab some code. Uh, please. Come on computer. Be nice to me. <laughs> um, right uh, let's I'm gonna start off small with custom filters. Uh, really do a nice simple one. <coughs> Just to get your head around the mechanics. Whoa, 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 too many clicks, and our code for our HTML page, <coughs> okay, let's save everything, so let's go from uh, our, our right to left here, uh, let's look at our Angular file, <coughs> so in our controller, it's really simple stuff we put in there, just a, a variable, a scoped variable with the value of 2, which is over here on our screen. Oops, that, yeah, I knew something was wrong there. That's right. Um, so that just comes over here. Now, so here's our custom filter. We, when you're creating custom filter, we have to use the Angular uh, filter keyword. <coughs> the basics of the filter here is very easy to create. Uh, so you just give your filter here a name. In this case, it's multiply. Uh, value, then you call it by its function. <coughs> you can then pass a parameter in here, uh, and then you do some magic within your function here. All our custom function is going to do today is going to multiply <coughs> um, this value by two. So on the screen, you'll see four. So with the custom filter, how you call them, uh, it's the same as the normal angu Angular filters. You have your pipe symbol and then your custom filter next to that. So you can see here my multiply value and multiply value. That's our custom filter. So you call them just in the same way as other filters that you've seen in the last tutorial, if you saw my last tutorial. <coughs> so let's, everything is saved. Let's see the code come up and we should see four colors. Ta-da! Pretty simple stuff. <coughs> so what happens in here? 
is this value of 2 gets passed into our custom filter here, goes into here, into the x. <coughs> uh, x is then times by 2, and we get 4. So that was a really simple custom filter, just to get your understanding of the mechanics behind it. <coughs> now I'm going to create, show you a little bit more of um, a complex one. And from this you'll be going, wow, um, well, hopefully you'll go, wow. <laughs> But not because it does amazing things, but because you'll sort of get an understanding that custom filters can do so many things. Um, and yeah, that's that's the big thing about it. So that's our Angular code. And this is our HTML. <coughs> So all we try to do today here is, uh, no, that was, do I need that anymore? No, that was just redundant code, messy code or me. Um, so here in our controller we've got an, a JSON array <coughs> made up of the, and we're going to show this in a table, and the columns are name and salary, they're the main columns. <coughs> These guys here, bonus and amount, they're going to be our hidden columns. Um, there are hidden col columns. So here we've got our custom filter. I've just kept the name the same. I should really name it something else so it, it identifies with the process more. But hey, I, you, you know, you, you get the idea. I've just got the name the same. What this custom filter is going to do is when this loads up, <coughs> let's go look at our HTML here. When this loads up, we've got this ng repeat, which is going to repeat this information here, the name and the salary. <coughs> and we've got our filter next to that. What we can see here, which is different from before, is you can pass in extra uh, parameters into our custom filter. So, uh, but to do this, all you've got to do is call your custom filter, and then you've got the uh, um, double se semi, the semi, not semicolon, double double colon. Sorry, here. And then after that, you call in your first parameter because we've got we've got three parameters here in, in our custom function. This is going to be the first parameter, our salary. This is going to be our second parameter, bonus, and this is going to be our third parameter, the amount. <coughs> so we're passing in total three values into our new custom filter. So that's what's new about this. The I'm trying to show the ability to sh that to show you that you can pass in more than one value into a custom filter. <coughs> so what is this going to do, <coughs> uh, our custom filters? Uh, more or less, what we're doing here, uh, if uh, an employee gets a bonus, he's going to be marked with the yes flag. And then if he is, is marked with that, he gets this bonus amount of 50 bucks onto his wages. So instead of rendering here 1000.23, this guy, because it's yes, he'll have 1,050.23, a whole $50 bonus, yeah, <coughs> this guy's, bon he does not get the bonus, he's been a bad boy, because he's marked with no, same with this guy, so 3,000, 2,000 won't change, this guy will get the $50 bonus, so he'll be uh, 5,050.23, <coughs> uh, the way that this works is we've got some, <coughs> with JavaScript you have to praise these amount fields to make them actual uh, integer values which you can then um, use properly. So what I'm saying is these values, this value and this value comes through here as text. <coughs> this function here will uh, convert that into a numerical value and so then we can actually <coughs> later on in here do the calculation because these will no longer be text uh, values they will be numerical values. So parade floats transforms text values into numerical values, if that makes sense. So once we get into here, we will, as an example, this guy up here, the 1000 will come into here, 1000.23. The amount, uh, because he gets the bonus, it's a yes, the amount will come over to here. It'll be a numerical 50, and that just gets added together, gets put into here, which ends up getting put into here by the magic of Angular. <coughs> if I 
if you don't get the bonus, just your normal salary like this guy will be returned, which ends up in here as well. Uh, I've just added here the uh, the currency, the Angular um, built-in filter, the currency built-in filter, and to show you that you can add multiple filters onto a process, so you can chain them together. So this will show this end salary as a currency amount. Um, okay, so I hope I've explained that all right. Uh, let's save everything. <coughs> Let's give this a refresh. Ta-da! Right, so let's make sure my math is correct. This Tom has now got 50 bucks extra, and it's pretty simple math. So we can see that that's happened there. It was a thousand. It's um, gone into 50. So the the main thing with this that I'm learning and that I'm hoping I'm putting across is the ability to. Uh, manipulate information with these filters um, and to do other things with a process to get a different end result uh, can be quite useful <coughs> so at least I think so um, yeah so that's custom filters remember you can pass in more than one value as shown here one value here another value here into a custom fil filter you don't just have to have them like this <clears throat> but you can also pass in other values there. So, um, I hope that was of some help. I hope I explained that okay. But, um, yes, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic. Or you can visit my website as well there. And, uh, again, I hope this tutorial has been of some help. Uh, thanks for watching.